in the last part uh, we saw that uh, how cyclic codes uh, can be generated in fact uh, systematic cyclic codes can be generated uh, using polynomial method uh, we also uh, uh, saw a shortcut method uh, by just knowing few uh, rows of generator matrix uh, to be precise just uh, with the knowledge of k uh, rows of generator matrix uh, we could able to construct encoding table okay so this uh, is uh, an extension to uh, the, uh, the concept that we have discussed in the last session uh, here uh, uh, cyclic codes uh, can also be described uh, by a generator matrix okay so just not by just a generator polynomial first we'll uh, first uh, we'll find out generator polynomial then we'll try to construct a generator matrix and later uh, uh, the uh, and hence the encoding table okay so uh, that uh, uh, we can uh, uh, if uh, is the non once the knowledge of g of x is obtained once we know the generator polynomial uh, then it is simple to find the systematic code generator matrix okay so that i can say uh, to be precise we will be talking about the generator polynomial now how to generate how to construct a generator polynomial uh, and of course the generator matrix okay all right so this is for cyclic codes all right so uh, we know that for a uh, systematic uh, generator a systematic code for in general for a systematic code core the generator matrix g can be represented as an augmented uh, matrix with uh, uh, with identity matrix i and with a parity matrix okay so where a parity is a sub matrix of uh, the generator matrix so once uh, we construct the parity matrix we can uh, easily uh, construct the generator matrix okay so the procedure or uh, the way that we construct parity matrix is this way by using the known uh, property of cyclic codes we can say that the first row of this parity matrix is okay where p is called as the parity sub matrix okay the first row of p can be obtained by uh, by finding out the remainder of division of x bar n minus 1 over g of x that would be the first row similarly the second row of this parity matrix is obtained by by finding out the remainder of division of x n x power n minus 2 over g of x and so on we can extend this for k times okay so we need to know, just know the first k rows of uh, in fact just k rows of uh, uh, the generator matrix g and hence uh, the k rows of parity matrix and by similar method we can find out the kth row of p where this is the remainder of x per n minus k over g of x okay we'll take an um, a specific case we'll take an example that you know we have already taken uh, earlier for the hamming cyclic code okay for example okay i'll just take a specific case for cyclic code 7 comma 4 that we have taken earlier okay with generator polynomial there were two generator polynomials we can take either of them so if i pick x cube plus x plus 1 
then we'll try to build the generator matrix for which first we should find out the parity matrix okay so for first row of p okay we can find out the first row of p as okay as the remainder of x bar n minus 1 so here uh, n is 7 and k is 4 so x bar n minus 1 would be 6 over g of x so g of x is x cube x bar 6 all divided by x cube plus x plus 1 if you perform uh, the division as we did earlier so the remainder that you would get is x square plus 1 all we need to do for only k rows so k is 4 here so you have to perform this polynomial division for just k times okay so second row of p following the same procedure so its remainder of x bar sorry here it's x bar n minus uh, uh, 2 which would be uh, 5 divided by x cube plus x plus 1 here the remainder would be x square plus x plus 1 following the same procedure again the third row of p would be the remainder of x bar n minus 3 divided by x cube plus x plus 1 and this would give you x square plus x and finally the fourth row of p is obtained as x cubed over x cube plus x plus 1 this would be simply x plus 1 okay once we know the k rows of p then we can uh, we can find out or we can say that the parity matrix here is of four rows so four rows is basically the first row being x square plus 1 so uh, we know that uh, the parity matrix is of the size k cross m so there are k rows and m columns so that uh, m is you know n minus k which is 3 okay uh, which is you know uh, uh, the uh, uh, the polynomial will should start from the highest power which is you know x square itself so it starts with x square but there is no x and uh, there is 1 which is x bar 0 so this would be 1 0 1 and for the second row this is all exist so it's 1 1 1 for the third row this is 1 1 0 and for the last row this is 0 uh, 1 and 1 okay all right so with the knowledge of p that uh, we know that the generator matrix in general is augmented matrix of uh, identity matrix is of the order k cross k and p which is k cross m so with that i can now uh, say the com i can uh, uh, write the complete generator matrix the identity matrix is of the order 4 so that will be 1 0 0 0 and augmented by p matrix which is 1 0 1 Okay, so this would be my first row the second row would be 0 1 0 0 which is identity matrix this is picked from the p matrix the third row is again from the identity matrix the third row of p matrix is 1 1 0 and finally 0 0 0 1 and 0 1 1 okay so this is the generator matrix all right so uh, we can use c uh, as a d times g and we can you know uh, do the matrix multiplication and hence uh, encode uh, for the given data vector also we can you know uh, from the knowledge of uh, uh, you know this p uh, the parity matrix we can also uh, write the parity check matrix okay so therefore the the parity check matrix so p was parity matrix 
so we can find out the parity check matrix which is represented as H that we know earlier for uh, any uh, uh, systematic uh, linear codes is given as P transpose I the identity matrix here the identity matrix since P transpose uh, is M cross K and hence there will be M rows and of course this will be of the order you know, M and hence we can have parity check matrix as well so this will be helpful for the receiver generator matrix for the encoder uh, the parity check matrix will be helpful for uh, the decoder to uh, to detect and correct any errors okay. so, and so just for the sake of completion I'll t uh, try to write the uh, the H matrix as well so it's simply the <coughs> transpose of uh, P matrix which is uh, 1 0 1 okay then it is 1 1 1 so since there are many columns so 1 1 1 then 1 1 0 and then this is 0 1 1 okay so that becomes P transpose the entity matrix will come with uh, uh, order 3 so that this is 1 0 0 0 1 0 and 0 0 1 so that would be your parity check matrix for the given generator polynomial okay so with the knowledge of uh, these uh, we can also uh, write a structure like we had done for linear block code as well so we can uh, as well uh, 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 write a structure of uh, encoder uh, remember that uh, uh, the major advantages of cyclic codes is that their encoding and decoding uh, can be implemented by means of you know, simple elements such as shift registers and uh, you know, adders modulo to adders okay so a systematically generated code uh, 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 is op we have obtained by dividing uh, x power n minus k times d of x over g of x right so that we can also use the same principle in in writing cyclic code generator structure in general okay so for specific cases <coughs> there would be few blocks and there would be few blocks missing as well because of uh, 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 the specific generator uh, case okay so uh, we know that uh, we have obtained uh, 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 this uh, encoding by means of uh, dividing uh, x bar uh, n minus k into d of x by g of x uh, which we know that uh, in general in general the generator polynomial g of x can be written as x bar n minus k plus g1 times x bar n minus k minus 1 and it can go up to g n minus k minus 1 times x plus 1 okay where all these g case okay could be either 0 or 1 okay so an encoding circuit uh, will have uh, n minus k shift registers okay so therefore encoder circuit will have n minus k which is m number of shift registers okay so we can draw this structure the structure of uh, encoder uh, would uh, in general would look something like this okay so where uh, uh, the data input is fed from the leftmost part of this uh, uh, the circuit and uh, here d represent okay here it can be said as it's a delay unit or simply i can say this is one digit deal okay where plus represent modulo to adder 
okay so the working is also you know very simple where uh, the k data digits uh, where data input is said to be of length k so the da k data digits are shifted one at a time at the input if the leftmost part of the circuit is input uh, where the switch s is held at position you know p1 p1 uh, is uh, the location of the switch initially once we are feeding the data input and it will stay in the position of p1 until all the data inputs are fed through the shift registers okay so as the data digits move uh, with uh, through the encoder so uh, there will be definitely a clock involved here as uh, which is synchronized with respect to the clock where uh, with each clock a uh, tick uh, the data digits will keep shifting onto uh, or they keep moving onto the right part of the circuit uh, say uh, uh, it, it will take k amounts of units of time uh, clicks uh, where all the data inputs uh, will be appearing in the all uh, you know appear in the shift registers okay so as the data digits move through the encoder uh, uh, they uh, also shifted uh, one at a time onto the output line okay uh, so as soon as the last kth data digit uh, clears uh, uh, the last register so the last register being this so this if i say this as you know first register say if this as you know first register and second register and so on up to uh, this has n minus kth register so as uh, the data uh, exits from the last uh, uh, shift register which is n minus kth register uh, all the shift register will contain the parity check digits because of the fact that in for a systematic code uh, first k uh, digits are data digits themselves and last n minus k digits are parity check digits or redundant digits okay so once uh, the last digit exists uh, exits uh, n minus kth register the switch position is moved from p1 to p2 okay and uh, the clock ticks will happen again for n minus k number of times uh, once we try once we try to clear uh, uh, all the shift register contents okay so this is how uh, uh, we can uh, say uh, describe uh, in general the working principle of the encoder circuit okay so this is uh, the case with encoding so uh, similarly as I told uh, this part of uh, session also deals with the receiver end which is the case of decoder okay decoding is very similar to our uh, decoding of a linear block codes uh, but we know from the property of cyclic codes that uh, 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 the way that we have generated uh, uh, the code words uh, the receiver also should work on the similar principle we know that we have expressed uh, in the case of uh, 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 generation of uh, code words uh, at encoder as we have written this earlier as I mean we try to divide uh, x power n minus k times d of x okay, let me repeat that we try to at encoder okay this is what was happened where we try to divide x power n minus k times d of x we divided this with the generator polynomial g of x and we said that in general there would be some quotient and there would be some remainder row of x okay and finally we obtained uh, uh, a simplified version of the relation between dividend divisor the quotient and the remainder as q of x times g of x was equal to x power n minus k times d of x plus the remainder row of x okay we may also argued that uh, the uh, uh, the order of q of x must be k minus 1 uh, for the fact that g of x will have the order of n minus k okay so uh, we know that uh, 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 the product of these two would will have an order of n minus 1 okay the order of this product is n minus 1 and hence we call this as the code word c of x okay so this c of x can be expressed as the product of g of x and q of x so this means that for uh, a word or for a vector to be code or uh, for it to be a code polynomial it should be a multiple of g of x okay so that's what it means 
so therefore i can say c of x the code word is divisible by g of x okay so when this is transmitted over a channel if it's a noisy channel the receiver will not receive it as a c of x so there will be an error so that uh, uh, the error uh, which occurs during the transmission the received word polynomial will not be c of x okay uh, therefore due to error okay due to error in transmission okay the received code word received code word r of x if we try to represent this as r of x will not be identical to the code word which is transmitted at the transmitter end and hence and hence r of x i can say is not divisible by okay this r of x the received vector definitely it is not divisible by g of x okay so that we can express this in mathematical way where if we try to divide r of x by g of x this, as we know that this is not divisible by uh, the generator polynomial we would obtain we should be obtaining the quotient which is uh, the message polynomial which is actually transmitted from the transmitter however we'll have some remainder the remainder can be expressed as as we know some polynomial s of x by g of x okay and this s of x is nothing but this is the remainder of r of x over g of x okay uh, and this will have the order of with order of of degree n minus k minus 1 okay this can be proved so this will be less than or equal to n minus k minus 1 okay so alternatively we can also understand uh, this you know uh, principle that uh, r of x okay alternatively we can uh, in a better way that the received polynomial is nothing but the the code polynomial plus some error in the channel okay so recollecting again that uh, this uh, c of x is multiple of g of x okay and if i uh, try to uh, uh, say that s of x and we have seen that this s of x is the remainder of r of x over g of x so substituting r of x as c of x plus the error polynomial e of x over g of x obviously c of x over g of x would result in uh, you know complete division therefore the remainder would be zero and hence s of x would be simply the remainder of the error over the generator polynomial okay so this is an error code okay so exactly uh, similar to uh, decoding of linear uh, block codes we said s of x as the syndrome polynomial so at the receiver all we need to do is divide r of x by g of x okay and we know that uh, the div this division would generate uh, you know error uh, polynomial which would result in uh, simply uh, uh, error uh, 
polynomial over g of x which uh, results in the syndrome with syndrome we can easily try to decode what exactly is transmitted okay so uh, the problem with this uh, uh, approach uh, in a mathematical way okay uh, the problem associated with this uh, the problem or the difficulty i can say so the difficulty in this approach would be uh, there are as many as 2 power k uh, uh, code words okay there would be 2 power k code words representing 2 power k data words okay there are k data digits and there are 2 power k combinations and this implies that okay uh, obviously uh, the received vector r could belong to any of these 2 power k code words okay so r vector belongs to any one of 2 power k code words okay and hence the error can also belong to any one of 2 power k code words so in even in case of finding out the error we will not be able to understand what is the exact uh, the code word that is transmitted from the transmitter end okay so uh, this becomes this process becomes you know confusing and this may uh, seems to be uh, not an ideal way of approaching the decoding so the convenient method okay the convenient this would be the convenient method is following okay for the decoding uh, uh, of uh, cyclic codes okay this uh, if you can uh, remember these steps uh, which are very similar to the decoding method uh, for linear block code that we did okay so this uh, list uh, would actually have okay so the convenient method is prepare a decoding table okay the decoding table lists so this will take an example and it would be more clear so which lists the syndromes and corresponding errors okay syndromes for all correctable errors okay so how to do that so this is simple may where first whatever is received first we'll calculate the syndrome which is received vector times h of t h of t h t uh, is transpose of the parity check matrix first find out uh, the uh, syndrome and once we find out the syndrome the with the syndrome we can find out the error because the table lists uh, 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 okay this is from from the decoding table okay first step is to prepare the decoding table where it lists all uh, possible correctable error codes it uh, has the property uh, where we know that uh, it's you know d minimum is two times of t plus one where t represents the number of uh, bits where which uh, the code can uh, is able to detect as well as correct okay so if it's able to correct if it's an hamming code then definitely it can correct only uh, single bits okay it can correct it can as well correct few uh, double error uh, as, uh, uh, errors as well but uh, we'll stick to the single error uh, 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 errors in case of hamming codes if it is any other code definitely you will have to list all the you know uh, uh, t possible correctable uh, error codes so from the table uh, we can map uh, uh, the syndrome to that particular error vector so once we know the error vector then we can say the corrected code word is 
the XOR of the received uh, and the error vector. So this is a modulo 2 addition. Obviously for systematic code, if it is a systematic case, for a systematic case, okay, we would have the the data digits, the data vector is nothing but first k digits of the code word C. Okay, so that would uh, give you the exact uh, information or data and that has been sent from the transmitter end. Okay, we'll try to take a specific case and address the decoding part. So encoding that we have taken a couple of examples very similar to each other. Similarly, we'll pick the same example for the decoding as well. Okay, say the example here would be okay the same uh, 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 single error correcting code consider um, earlier example example of 7 comma 4 cyclic code okay and in the last session we have seen that the d minimum for this cyclic code is 3 so this means that it is a single error correcting code or it's an having code okay so that we'll try to uh, 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 construct the first step which is the decoding table okay so therefore the decoding table is as follows okay so we'll have error vector and we'll have the syndrome the error uh, vector and syndrome uh, uh, error uh, is basically uh, uh, the number of errors that can uh, possible in uh, the transmission since it's a sing it's a case with single error uh, correcting code so it can uh, only detect and correct the single errors so single errors would be simply uh, the in the bit stream only the, uh, one position would be one so that this is the case of uh, seven uh, uh, length of the code word and hence this is one zero 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 and I can have shifts of these ones zero 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 one zero 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 okay so this is the error in the channel which is error in only in one position in one bit position zero zero one zero 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 one double zero so on for the next two case okay so if it's a double error correcting code then i would take all the combinations of the double error correcting er uh, error codes as well where there would be two uh, ones in the you know error vector Okay, and I should take the all the combinations of uh, those two uh, double error correcting uh, codes as well. For individual error, we should calculate the syndrome. The syndrome uh, that we uh, calculate uh, is very simple. So here, the syndrome is nothing but the error vector times the H transpose. So this matrix multiplication is uh, pretty simple uh, compared to the actual received vector, where we know that. Uh, uh, we know that ht is nothing but ht that we know that we have done in the last you know part probably i can pick from there itself is actually error times the transpose of this which is actually one 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 zero one zero zero okay it is zero one 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 zero one zero and similarly this is one one zero one zero zero one okay calculation of syndrome is very similar to your linear block code where uh, the first uh, error vector is one has got one in the first position so uh, we'll have to just take uh, the first row of this uh, uh, h transpose uh, uh, matrix so this would be okay 
this is our syndrome calculation so the first row of the syndrome I mean the first row of H transpose is 1 0 1 this would be the second row which is 1 1 1 and it, this should be the third row so this is 1 1 0 this is 0 1 1 1 0 0 0 1 0 and 0 0 1 so we have got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 uh, combinations uh, of the syndrome as you know that since there are three bits in syndrome there should be eight uh, possible uh, uh, combinations of syndrome uh, however uh, the only syndrome that is left is uh, all zeros obviously we don't take the consideration of all zeros as it's a, uh, it's there should be you know at least one error you now that should occur in the channel okay uh, then only uh, this uh, uh, can detect and correct uh, the errors in the uh, transmitted data vector right so once we have prepared the code uh, uh, the decoding table uh, we can uh, we are now ready to uh, find out uh, uh, or uh, we are now ready to decode for any given receive vector okay so uh, that we have to take some uh, you know, example uh, for the received vector uh, let's take uh, say if the received vector if I take one case okay if I take the received vector is say R as one one zero one one zero one okay so if I had approached with a you know uh, uh, in a straightforward manner uh, I would uh, you know uh, simply uh, try to uh, 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 you know uh, try to divide this with generator uh, polynomial and I should uh, be able to obtain uh, the uh, you know, quotient and the remainder and I would say the remainder would be the syndrome polynomial but I would uh, never be able to uh, understand you know for uh, what code I should be mapping this to okay so uh, that would you know result in you know a tedious procedure so instead of that all we need to do is find out the syndrome of this received vector where this is r times ht okay so r times ht the h uh, ht is h transpose which we all uh, have already so r is nothing but it's a row vector which are 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 okay so the ht that you have written already 1 1 1 0 1 0 0, 0 is 0 1 1 triple 1 0 1 0 double 1 0 1 double 0 1 okay the product of these two matrix would be uh, uh, how can we find that out so we can find that out by simple uh, matrix multiplication so this addition of first row second row uh, fourth fifth and the last say if you want to add those uh, all those rows I would get this as 1 plus 1 which is 0 so then 0 plus 1 is 1 and obviously this the first uh, element uh, here of the syndrome is 1 next is, is 0 plus 1 which is 1 1 plus 1 is 0 0 plus 0 is 0 and finally I can uh, find out the last bit where uh, uh, 1 plus 1 is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1 and finally this is 1 ok so this is the syndrome that we have obtained all we need to map with the decoding table so th the decoding table that, that that you know we have with us is is 1 0 1 which is the error vector of the you know, first row of uh, this decoding table ok which is 1 and all zeros one followed by all zeros so therefore from decoding table from decoding table for s as one zero one we have error as 1 followed by all zeros 6 zeros ok so this implies our code word 
is XR of this R and E. Yeah, this would uh, result in addition of the model to addition of this R and E that would result in 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. Okay. So, this is the code which is actually transmitted from the transmitter end. And since we know that, since this is uh, the case with systematic cyclic code the first k digits would be belong to the data the data vector would be the actual the information digits the data is nothing but the first k digits of this so this is hence this is 0 1 0 1 okay so this would be uh, uh, the actual solution for the actual uh, the receive for the for a particular case of received vector Similarly, you can uh, take a uh, you know, few examples of received vector and try to decode it. Uh, remember that we have considered uh, the, uh, the generator uh, matrix and hence we have constructed uh, from the generator matrix uh, the parity check matrix uh, from which we have constructed the decoding table. Uh, for the case uh, that we have taken here, uh, I have picked from uh, 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 the generator matrix from this case where we have taken the ge generator polynomial to be x cube plus x plus 1. If you take the uh, the generator polynomial like we had taken in uh, earlier session uh, which was uh, in fact x cube plus x square plus 1. So, for that generator polynomial you would have the complete different uh, uh, the structure of uh, uh, decoding table and hence uh, and hence uh, you would have a different uh, uh, you know uh, the case of different data vector for uh, different uh, received vectors okay so this all uh, depends on uh, uh, what generator polynomial or what is the generator matrix which is used uh, at the encoder end okay so for same uh, uh, generator matrix uh, we would construct the parity check matrix uh, at the receiver end okay all right so uh, this completes uh, 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 the uh, the case with uh, cyclic codes we have done with uh, non systematic as well as systematic cyclic codes we have done uh, with both uh, mathematical and conceptual uh, as well as uh, uh, by taking few uh, illustrations uh, for uh, with respect to specific examples uh, about encoding and decoding part okay uh, this completes uh, the part of the error control and correcting codes Thank you.